Hello, my name is Andy Hall and I am a certified Camark support engineer here at Go Engineer. And today I'm going to show you just an introduction to uh, three axis machining and uh, three axis milling. Now, unlike the uh, two axis Camworks, we do not run the automatic feature recognition. So there's a little bit more of setup, and, but there's still quite a bit of automation that you'll notice. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to define a stock here, and this is something that might that might be what will might be typical of a of a typical setup. I'm just going to go off a sketch, which also can do. You can do a bounding box, a sketch, and an STL file. We'll just show you the sketch for this example. I selected a sketch in the graphics area, and I selected a face of what I'm going up to. I'll go ahead and accept that, and just to make things a little bit easier to see, I'm going to hide this sketch here in SolidWorks, and then I'm going to go ahead and on the next the next step is to insert a mill part setup, which I'll do here, and I can just run that off of any top fat, flat face. And if you notice right there, that face right there is is flat. So now I'll insert that, and the next step is to define my feature. I right click on my mill part setup, go insert multi-surface feature, and uh, this is a really neat option, select all and associate. What that does is it'll just select all of the surfaces, and the cool thing about this is if anything changes, like you get the SolidWorks model, you maybe add an extra cut and more fillets, this select all and associate will automatically select those faces as it changes. Just to show you a couple more things here is we have the strategy list, and what this represents is a bunch of predefined uh, strategies of how we are going to machine this. You know, this is a three-axis sort of. We're going to essentially machine this, and there's very different ways that anybody could do it, just depending on the machinist, what tools are available. So we can actually preset that approach of how we would do something like this and save it on a list. For this example, I'll just use this preset strategy here. I'll hit insert and now I can go ahead and, and generate my operation plan. What that does is it it tags those presets or inserts preset operations based on what we have for that strategy. So now I can go ahead and uh, generate my tool path, but just before I do that, I'm going to make some modifications here in my operation parameters. I'm going to select a smaller tool, maybe just like a half inch, and then uh, see now that looks pretty good. And we'll just go with that for now. I'll go ahead and I'll generate my tool path. And then after that, we can see exactly what's going on. We have a couple of, well, first thing it's going to do is it's going to do a back and forth like lace type tool path is what's preset. And then it's going to generate a step over. There might be some options we want to select and change. For example, maybe this area clearance would be better with just a pocket in because it's sort of a core. A um, couple more things is we'll... Uh, set some things on this pattern project here. We'll take it to a standard cross machine, meaning it'll it'll do a different uh, a separate direction other than this single step over, the single constant step over. And uh, a couple of other things is just our cont automatic contain area will just go past so it'll get all the way down to the bottom. We do that, we just let it uh, go ahead and generate and we can show a, a quick simulation of what it's going to do. Oh, maybe there's a couple other settings. See how that red represents a rapid move. So we want to keep that just in one continuous. So I'll just go ahead and uh, hit stay down. And that should be the setting that gets it to just zigzag back and forth. And there we go. And so now we can uh, run a quick simulation just to verify that we're going to it's going to do it the way we want to. Of course, we can watch. Go ahead and watch or watch it. The tool go, or we can run in this turbo mode. I'll just go back to the beginning, hit turbo mode, and that fast forwards us to the end, so we can verify the uh, cut. Anyway, this is this has been a tip, a quick tip. Another go engineer quick tip. Stay tuned for more. 
Thanks.